King Runner coming to y'all live and direct. Today I'm speaking on AZ, Fazion, Fazion, whatever the brother last name is, or the, I'm sorry, whatever the rat last name is. You know, I listen to him speak on Vlad and I hear the things that he talk about on Vlad and it's like, my whole mindset and my understanding of it is, are you really serious? Are you really serious? Because at the end of the day, when you look at the movie, it tells who AZ Fazion really was. He was a dude who wasn't with taking no chances of getting no coins, you know what I'm saying? Working in that cleaners all that time and then start earning. But if you remember prior to the cleaners, how Dame Dashlin would slide up on the side of him, a rich porter, and say different things. You better get your man some clothes. You better do this. Dude wasn't trying to earn. And Rich Porter was his number one role model in the movie. That's how they made it seem. They only made it seem like that because Rich wasn't here anymore. And from my understanding, AZ at the time was dealing with Rich Porter's sister, whatever the case may be. But I also heard he had spots. He would find little spots that Rich would have. And Rich would be, you know, he'd be popping out them spots that would be running. But AZ would go across the street and build another spot, and he would sell everything wholesale, while Rich is selling everything retail. So the honor in AZ was never there. To me, the way I look at it, I believe he was jealous of Rich Porter. Although Rich and him may have had a relationship, but it seems to me as if AZ played Alpo and Rich against one another. He really got rid of two birds with one stone. That's how I look at it. I don't care what nobody say. Maybe he was the one instigating the thing between a, um, Rich Porter and uh, Alpo. I don't understand how a man can, you know, stand behind a movie and say all these G'd up things and leave out the part about him being a rat. No matter of fact, he didn't leave out about him being a rat. He actually had told on uh, Cameron in the movie who played Alpo. And he actually told on him, and they both came up with this theory that because it wasn't told on nobody in Harlem, it made it of honor. I'm telling y'all that I don't care where you from, young men. If you're in the streets and you get locked up, you got to do your time. Can't nobody do your time for you. Now, when you get to playing that game of telling on people and things of that nature, I think that you should just go and leave the game because ain't no way that you're making that a rule now. That's what the youngers are doing now. They're making ratting a rule. They're making it the number one rule in the game. So to all my youngers, again, I advise you, do not follow these characters because that's all they are, characters. You understand what I'm saying? Because if there was real men, they would stand on something. And AZ would have stood on something. He, he, he told on them individuals. He told on them boys that came in the house and killed all them people. When he was the cause, it's causes and effects in life. Had he not came to that young lady door, you know, in the movie, they, they, yeah, yeah, we about to go in here and get some money. We bagging up. When she call him lucky, don't call me lucky and all this cute stuff that he put in the movie. But honestly, lucky. Why wasn't you lucky enough to keep your mouth shut? Maybe your honor being attacked and maybe probably nine times out of ten, you would get some recognition from the artist. And, and, and the people in the industry that got some honor to them because at the end of the day, cuz, you don't have an inch of honor to you, you, you know, at all. Even when you was in the streets, you didn't. And now if you're doing something positive, if you're not starting off by saying, I am a rat. My name is AZ Fazion, whatever the last name of your name is. I'm a rat and I done this. If you're not starting off your speakings or whatever it is you're doing, let them know who you are truthfully. Rich Porter was definitely a man of honor. I believe that AZ and Alpo actually was just jealous of the man. You know, we could talk all we want to talk, man, but from the movie, it shows that Rich Porter was the man. From the movie, it shows that he was the one with honor, and it was young at that time. But Rich Porter had strength to him, you see? So Alpo figured that he'd take him out. Jealous probably about a million and one things, man. So, you know, like my thing is to AZ, stop going around the fact that you're a rat. Stop going around that. Stop speaking on 
other people issues and who was this and who was that and trying to sound like the super cool dude because you're not the super cool dude. You're the super cool rat. Let's look, look at you. Look at yourself in the mirror. And I want you to look. And when you look at the mirror, say, I'm a, I am a rat 30 times or 300 times. It's one or the other. I know they was talking about it somewhere in rat land. That's what you need to be, rat land. And I'm joking, but I'm saying I'm serious here. Who in the world would want to continue to claim that, you know, that the glamours of the street life or acting like, you know, talking on Vlad, yeah, no, Vlad, and blah, 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 like you a G. You ain't no G, you a flea, you see? And anything that supports you is a flea, you see? Now, you got rumors that Dame Dash, Jay-Z, really broke up. But, and, well, I'm not going to say that they broke up because of what happened. I'm not going to say because of Dame dealing with um, uh, Alpo. But I'm going to say this. That probably was like number one of the number one factors, man. You know, a person could be your man and, man, you know, you'd be doing stuff and you're like, all right, I'm going to let that slide. That ain't about nothing. Let that slide. Oh, man, that's weird, dear. You're, you're really co-signing a rap, but yet you on these interviews and vlogs saying how 